What's going on guys? We are back with another Explore video and today it's slightly different because what we're doing is a survey of all the ROC posts that are in Leicestershire. So what we're going to do is split it into two videos just so it's not too long and uh, we're going to go around to all the posts that are still around. I'll put a list in which says all the ones which have already been demolished. Problem is some of them have been restored, some of them are ruined, other ones you can get into and it's fine. What we are at today, this is Stoke Gold in ROC post, and this has been restored, so you can't actually come here. Uh, don't try and get in, there's nothing inside these buildings. But what I will tell you is in summer, they actually do an open day, so you can come down, have a look around the buildings. They try and bring all the stuff down so you can see the layout, and it's like a reunion day of the ROC. Throughout the video, I'll try and give some information on who the ROC was and what these posts are. But anyway, this is Stoke Gold in post. I don't have too much information on this ROC post, but what I do know is Stoke Golding was opened around 1960, in the description I'll put the exact date, and I think it was closed around 1999 when a lot of them were. Sat derelict for quite a few years until a local actually bought the land at auction, and as I've said, he's restored the post that was on here and rebuilt what would have been the World War II aircraft recognition site, post, whatever you want to call it. So this is the World War II aircraft recognition tower and this was basically what was here before the nuclear post on most of the site. Most of them have been de uh, destroyed now. This one has been rebuilt in the style that they would have been. If you've watched our Buildsden video however, you'll still see the remnants of one of them there. And then if you look over to this side of me, you see this little green bunker. That's what we're going to be looking at throughout this video. They are the ROC nuclear posts, nuclear monitoring posts. Again, I'll tell you a little bit throughout the video of what they are, but as you can guess, this is where the ROC volunteers went to monitor nuclear fallout, basically. Again, this has all been restored. You can come here in summer, but don't try and come here any other time. It's locked up, there's CCTV, and there's a lot of hard work being put into this, so please don't try and ruin it. We'll go on to the next ones now. Remember to subscribe, like and comment on the video if you have any experiences of these kind of posts and we'll get on to the next. Here we are inside the master post. Um, this one's still quite original, there's no graffiti. There's uh, a few additions from over the years, I'm guessing. Mr. Farmer has adapted it to suit, suit what he's doing. But, uh, uh, this post was opened April 1959, I believe it was. Closed in September 91, like uh, any remaining ones did. Got a coat hanging on the back of the door. What the royal mats are, oh, they're in place as well. So. Ooh, that was uh, <laughs> that was dark. <laughs> Anything still in the cupboard original? Surprising, this is uh, so nicely kept. I mean, there is rubbish, you can tell people have been coming down here. That's interesting. I like to see what they've still got that on. Yeah. Mm. Can't away, it's got stuff written on this one. It's there's something London on it. Mm. 
uh, out of the, uh, that's the main room. Out into here, into the toilet. Oh dear, hello. <laughs> Having fun? You got a bomb roll back. <laughs> Chemical toilet working. Guys, another uh, RSC master post. Right, we've got the walkway here. Interesting. Wonder if it's anything to do with the uh, old mast that used to sit here, or looks like. I'd love the first go. Have a look at that. Oh, I can see it. Let me focus in for you guys. Just up there, I can see the top of it. Looks like it's got cut rain cover or something. So that looks like we found it guys. Oh no, it's another one. As you guys can see, someone's uh, put a nice rain weather um, cover on there basically. It's gonna keep the hatch nice and protected. So that's a re really nice idea. I haven't seen that before, but they've done it here as well. That's probably where your electrics go in. I can't see the original vent though. Uh, this was one of the last places to be built in this way because they had to blast it out of solid rock. They simply didn't have the resources to do it early on. They decided to leave it to the end. You know, hardest jobs at last. You have to do that sort of thing when there's a nuclear war imminent. That antenna there is still being used. You'll notice that there's not, there is no rust on it whatsoever. For the purpose, it's called a repeater. For the purpose of extending amateur radio transmissions many more miles than it would have gone otherwise. You'll also notice a little birdhouse on it. A little birdhouse. There's a camera. Oh, Someone's yeah. watching out. Someone's looking out for this place. So is this owned by someone? Have you found Sam? Or? Yes, this is owned by the uh, the Leicestershire repeater group. Do, you, do we know how, how long they've owned it or anything or any more uh, info? Because I know it, it, like I said, it's built in 1965. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know how long. It Let's closed in October 1968. So, was it? It is 68, 68 isn't 1968. Yes, it's here still, Reese. We've got one. Got the old vent shaft. This is ROC Bilston Master Post. It was opened in uh, July 1959, closed in October of 68, and it is just up the road from the POW camp we've just visited. So we're going to go and have a look inside, see what we can find. Right guys, bit of information for you on the ROC, for those of you that don't know. They started in 1925 as the Observer Corps and basically what their job was uh, for is aircraft recognition and they would relay that information back to the RAF. They became the Royal Observer Corps in 1941 by King George after their uh, intel for the Battle of Britain. There's graffiti everywhere. Seems to be someone have moved in because their suitcase is filled with clothes and paperwork, all sorts. Hey, look, Reese, the original vent bars there. Eh? Interesting. Um, but yeah, as you as you guys can see, this place has seen much better days. Nice penis. You always see a penis on the wall, don't you? It's like the calling card of the England. In June 1955. Uh, the ROC's role changed and they had an additional service which was defending from nuclear attack 
and they also, the following year in 1956, started doing simulated training exercises to prepare themselves for what was to come. From 1957, the ROC's job was basically to collect data on nuclear detonation. Um, this was during an attack to gauge fallout and basically this would all come from little posts like this across the country and they would then relay the information back to the RAF and tell them how radioactive the area was and if there had been any detonations in that area. But God knows what's been going on in here. It's a shame really folks because someone could have restored this. You know, it's not damp is it? So it's dry, no puddles. It would have been a nice one to do up but at the moment, it's looking very sorry. But everything's stripped out of this one. There's no original stuff. You've got your ladder like all of them. Um, no doors or door frames though. If I can get you around the toilet, if you can see, it is no longer no longer a toilet. It's more of a store for rubble. Someone's mattress and God only knows what. But now there you have it guys, sorry there wasn't really much to show you in this one. Um, that, is a, that is about it. On to the next place, eh? Last time uh, the survey was done, about oh, 20 years ago now, it did, uh, did say that this was blocked up. Uh, I'm guessing the farmers put some concrete on top of it. Stop kids coming in. Let's sort of go around. There you are. We think it's a gun battery. If you know, pop it in the comments. Holes. So what, are they, what are these, Curly? I think it's like a gun battery or something. That was the only really gun respect. I read it had a big gun on it at some point. Yeah. I think that's where it was. Obviously above, that's where the front of the Here's your bunker. We'll go to see what Curly's found. This is Coleston um, ROC bunker, opened in 1959, closed in 1968. As we're saying, can't, uh, we can't get in there. There is a manhole cover on this on the uh, photo. Someone just took it off trying to get in there. But obviously, hasn't had much luck. And uh, th this has been like it since uh, the 90s, I'm pretty sure, from uh, the information we have. There was a wooden staircase on the boat over the job. There's a bit of it on the floor. That's what probably that probably that corrugated iron was on mm. the way in. Look, it's got some on the roof. Oh, yeah. There's still a bit of a wooden frame in there. Corrugated roof still here. It looks like there would have been a little bench there. And there's still one in place. Yeah. It's green as well, this roof. It looks like it's been painted. Oh, there's a bit of cable and something in here. Uh.